When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Josh wrote to us, hey guys, to make a long story short, my girlfriend cheated on me at work with this tool bag who's been making passes at her for months. <laughs> now I'm pretty destroyed inside currently. We're trying to figure out if this relationship is even salv- salvageable. We've been together for four years. Mm. That is not really what I want advice on, though. Oh. What's really been bothering me the last couple of days is how the other guy's girlfriend's being treated. Toolbag is committed to going to the grave with the secret and has convinced <laughs> other co-workers at the restaurant uh, that they work at to keep quiet. Toolbag. N- no one is going to tell this girl that she's with a cheating toolbag, should I? Mm. If I was uh, her, I'd want to know. Should I message her what's been going on, or is that overstepping? I think in this case, you tell her. I think so, too. I mean, because of how he knows. Right, right. This isn't just hearsay. This isn't hearsay. This isn't him having a vendetta. This isn't him trying to wreck another relationship. This is him, like, in the same boat as the girlfriend. Exactly. And, yeah, I, I think his motivations are pure, which is why I think... He should go ahead and tell her, but man, it's it's messy. I mean, am I the only one who went to the place in my brain where he tells the cheated on girlfriend and they wind up having a a little date together to talk about things and they're both feeling some sort of way? Oh, maybe. And, maybe, and then uh, they could just swap. And then just natural things happen. Okay, all right. Uh, wow. you uh, That was zero to 60 pretty quickly. I don't think that that's his motivation. He's just trying to, you know, save her from wasting her time with the tool bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If, if you've got experience on this, I think that would be helpful. And, and honestly, I, Kelly and I are both saying tell. So if you say no, we'd love to hear your point of view, okay? Yeah, Ray, though, is like, that's exactly where my head went as well. He's right there with you, Ben. <laughs> maybe it's a guy <laughs> thing where it's like, you know, I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe if his girlfriend's attractive and you kind of go and you're like, she hey. She needs a shoulder to cry on. cry on my shoulder and yeah. whoops, our clothes fell off. Well, stop. That's um, what got us into this predicament. So anyways, if you have a reason why he should not say anything based on your experiences, that's <laughs> what we want to hear, okay? <laughs> Chrissy's the same thing. I thought the same thing. Everybody, everybody is getting on the wheel. Maybe they can date. That's what I'm saying. Uh, 502-795-1997. 502-795-1997. We'll take your calls coming up next on 9970JX. Group therapy. So Josh, um, his girlfriend of four years cheated on him with a guy that she works with. He's pretty wrecked, but he also is thinking about the girlfriend of the, quote, tool bag she cheated on her with. <laughs> yeah, and so he's like, should I tell her or should I not? Is that overstepping? Yeah, and I, Kelly and I both were like, hey, I think you got to tell in this case. Yeah, I mean, especially with how he knows. This is not just like a rumor that he's heard through the grapevine. Like, he, he knows exactly what mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. Lisa said, first of all, no, your relationship is not salvageable. You obviously are holding on to a lot of hurt. Second, are his intentions really good? Sounds like he wants uh, the guy to pay and someone to hurt as much as he does. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who does this. When she hurts, she's going to start spitting out secrets like a madwoman. Well, I I think in this case, the way he he wrote it, I think his intentions are pure. Like, you know, I would want to know if I were her. Now, Jessica's like throwing up a little bit of caution, just saying, hey, you might need to consider your current relationship will she be mad if he says something to the other girl since they're trying to work on things or does he even care if that will make her mad you know i I think we haven't even even addressed like does the girlfriend get another job because i think yes i'm thinking yes she doesn't keep working at the same place where she you know cheated 
with a guy that works there. Well, if she is serious about getting back with Josh, then yes, that's what she does. But yes. we don't know if it's sal- salvageable. We don't know where what her headspace is in. We don't know if she's like, you know, th- this relationship with Josh has run its course. This was uh, like, you know, um, something that happened and, you know, there's no coming back from it now. So... Yeah, Nicole said I would tell her he can't be too in love with her if he cheated with your girlfriend. Wish you the best of luck. Normally, once trust is lost this way, it never goes back to 100%, even if you decide to forgive her and stay. Good luck. Wish you all the best. Mm. Um, Katie says, I'm confused why we're worried about overstepping about a man that slept with your longtime girlfriend. (laughs) I would tell the girlfriend, his mama, and his regulars at table five. Right, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you or you know you go to the the restaurant and you ask to be seated in his section every single time and you just yes. you just order water and bread and just yes. look at him yes <laughs> yes and yes and then don't tip man wow i mean if you're wow that that would take some big big brass ones to do uh well, especially yeah. more than once but and uh, and i think he's probably thinking too are there going to be like repercussions for his girlfriend at work but that's why we say she needs to quit because i don't think they can continue working together and yeah that part that's the first piece that needs to happen yeah so i think we are all on the same page josh of no you're not overstepping yes you should butt into their relationship and tell her yeah and, you know, good luck to you and, you know, your relationship with your girlfriend of four years. And, you know, if you, if you truly want to try to work it out, then, you know, good luck to you. But, she needs to walk away from that job. Yep. Yep. Start fresh somewhere else. You guys need to try to figure out a way to clean the slate if that's possible. All right. Well, hey, good luck. Keep us posted.